little learners. Welcome back to our pre-K and TK classroom. My name is Miss Lara. Hello. It's so amazing to be here with you today. I hope that you're feeling great this morning or afternoon, whenever it is that you're watching. Well, we're going to be learning all about Earth Day, even though it already passed on April 22nd. Every day is a day that we should be celebrating that we live in a wonderful environment that we're responsible or in charge of and we need to take care of. So we're going to be learning some new words today. We're going to read a story about a truck and this truck is smelly. P-U. We're going to be doing some alliteration using the letter S. And finally, in our project place, we're going to be finishing up our bouquet of flowers that we're going to give to someone special out of egg cartons. And I'm going to teach you how to make an easel out of cardboard boxes. Remember, an easel is something you use to make art with. So I hope that you stick around for the whole episode. We're going to start things off by singing our song. And remember, we need our hands for this. So get your hands ready. Our song goes like this. I love the earth and everything that lives. I love the plants and the beauty each one gives. I love the animals and the fishes in the sea. For I am a part of the earth and the earth is part of me. What a great message. I'm also teaching you a few words in Spanish. So we've learned three so far. The first one was tierra, that means earth. The next one was reciclando, that means recycle. And then we learned ayudamos, o ayuda, that means to help. And in our song, we're helping out the earth by recycling a few things. And that's another word we're gonna learn. The first one is plástico. Plástico means plastic, and that's something that you can recycle. So are you ready to sing our song? Here we go. Remember, I make this motion because recycling means like a cycle, like something that goes around again and again. Here we go. Reciclando, reciclando, plástico y papel, plástico y papel. Ayudamos a la tierra, ayudamos a la tierra, reciclando, reciclando. Oh, amazing. Now you're bilingual just like me, or maybe you already were. Now I love learning new words in Spanish, in English, in Hmong, Chinese, as many as I can. So I always try to bring at least three words for us to put in our pocket or put in our brain. So that way we can understand the story that we're gonna read together. So here are our words. Da, 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 da. The first word is special letter C for compacted. Compacted, you say that with me? Compacted means press together. To make smaller by pressing, compacted. The second word is barge. Special letter B, barge. It's a flat boat used to carry heavy things. So you might see a barge in a body of water that might be full of stuff to carry. Number three is throttle. And the T and the H together make a special sound. Th th throttle. It's a car part that controls the car's power. So it puts gas into the car so the car can go fast. So when you hear somebody say, hit it at full throttle, that means put lots of power in it to make the car or vehicle go quicker. And that's exactly what we're going to see in our book. Now we've read this one before. We're recycling the story. Pretty proud of myself for that one. The story is called, I Stink. And look, he is smelly. It's a truck, so I wonder what kind of truck he is that he smells. It's by Kate and Jim McCullen. They're the authors and illustrators of the story. That means they wrote the words and also drew the pictures. 
So let's read the story, I Stink. Here we are. Now look at the picture. It is dark, and the only thing that's lit up is the truck. So what time of day does the story take place in? That's right, nighttime. It's a nighttime story. Let's see. Here's the truck. He's racing. He's going so fast. He's off the road. He says, who am I? I've got lights, 10 wide tires, no AC. That means air conditioning. Not me. I've got doubles, double steering wheels, gas pedals, brakes. I'm totally dual up. Dual is a word that means doubles. Know what I do at night while you're asleep? Oh, what do you do? What do you do? Tell me. I eat your trash. Ew, I was not expecting that. See those bags? I smell breakfast. <laughs> Crew, get me to the curb. Lights, blink, brakes, squeal. Tailgate, beep, beep, beep. Say, ah, so look, is the trash, and he's going to eat all of it in there. Now, do you remember from our first story where the trash goes? That's right, the landfill. They take it, and they bury it deep in the ground, and they cover it with soil. Look what he says. He says in big words, feed me straight into my hopper. Nice toss, guys. Oh, do you recognize this word? Stop! Hopper's full, hit the throttle. Remember, that's what makes the car go by really fast. Give me some gas, rev me to the max. Rum, 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 rum. Engine, roar. Look, he's roaring, roar. Look at his face in the garbage truck. How does he look? He's kind of downturned. He looks a little angry, maybe a little intense, like he's concentrating. Roar! Here he goes. Did I wake you? Too bad. Pistons, bring on the crusher blade. Blade, push back the bags. Squeeze them, crush them, mash them, smash them. Whoa, those bags are way compacted. Remember, that means to press together to make smaller. Now our truck is very happy. He was full. But now that things have been made smaller, he loves it. <gasps> he loves it so much, he lets out something kind of rude. Are you ready? Burp. Look at that burp. <laughs> he really loves to eat trash. Ah! Now I have room for alphabet soup. Ooh, yummy, I love alphabet soup. I can't wait to eat it. Get a load of my recipe. Apple cores, apple cores, banana peels, candy wrappers. Wait a minute, this isn't the kind of alphabet soup I like. It's just for garbage trucks. Oh no, I would never eat this. Gross, dirty diapers, yuck. Eggshells, fish heads, Gobs and gobs and gobs of gum. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Half-eaten hot dogs, icky ice cream cartons, jam jars, kitty litter, lobster claws. Would you be brave enough to eat a lobster claw? How about a moldy meatball or a nasty necktie? I hope not, they can make you sick. Orange peels. Puppy poo, yuck! Quail bones, too. Rotten radishes, smelly sneakers, toothpaste tubes, ooh, ugly underpants, vacuum bags, watermelon rinds, extra large t-shirts, year-old yams. Look, this yam is so old, it's growing something else. Zipped up ziti with zucchini. He loves it, loves it, loves it. Thank you very much. And oh, look, there's our signal for recycling. See the arrows? That means he's going to recycle a lot of the things that go into his truck. 
What's that? You think I stink? Woo-wee! Do I ever. No skunk ever stunk this bad. Go on, hold your nose, but think about it without me. You're on Mount Trasharama, baby. Look, imagine, look at these are all the houses in the city and all the buildings. If we didn't have someone to come collect our trash, we would be full of trash in no time. If we had to do it ourselves, woo, that would be a lot of work. Thank goodness for garbage truck drivers. Next stop, the river. Lights flash. Driver reverse. Get me to the barge. Remember, that's a boat that holds heavy things. Here it is. Hem, here my backup wrap. Beep, beep, beep. Hey, beep, beep, beep. Out of my way. There he's going to the barge. Ready, crew, action. Pins out. Power takeoff switch. Hit it. Tailgate, separate, up, 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 eject, and plop. There go all the watermelon rides. Ryan's right on the barge. I'm empty, I'm beat. You're waking up now, but I need zzzz. That's another word for sleep. Back to the gar garage crew. Hoves me down and gas me up. See ya tomorrow night, guys. So there he was at the barge, and he's going back to the garage, which is right here. Gonna get some gas, gonna get a wash, because I'm sure he smells. Who am I? The garbage truck, that's who. Look how proud he is. The end. And actually, the garbage truck could be a girl garbage truck or a boy garbage truck. Let's see, or just a garbage truck. I stink. I hope that you check out this book in your local library or on the Sora app. So many books to explore. And we didn't get to read much about landfills and different things like that. So be sure to check it out. Now, right now, we're going to go over to our skills page here where we're going to learn about alliteration, which is a super fancy word that means beginning sounds. Now remember, the beginning sound is the first sound that you hear in a word. So like Miss Laura, my beginning sound is ooh, L for Laura. Now here on my page, we're going to be looking for words that have this sound. Are you ready? Right, it's the sound the letter S makes. Now, some words can stay on my page, but others, recycling bin, they do not belong. So you're gonna help me figure out which ones can stay and which ones can go. Remember, we're looking for words that start with s. All right, let's see. How about smelly socks? Do they have a s at the beginning? That's right, they do. Smelly socks start with the sound s, s. How about, let's see, a sour salad. Sour salad. Do you hear the sound there? Yes, that's right. Sour salad starts with s. How about toxic toothpaste? T toxic toothpaste. No, boo to that. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky to the recycling bin. All right, next how about, look at my scissors. Scissors. Sticky scissors. Yes, it makes the sound. Okay, you can stay. How about, ooh, funky fish. Funky fish. No, that makes the f, f sound. That's the letter F. It doesn't say s funky fish. Gotta go. Next, how about, ooh, crooked cake. K crooked cake. Hmm, that does not say s at the beginning. That would be sooked sake. Nope, totally different. Nice try, cake. I'll save you for later. Crooked or not, still delicious. All right, how about, 
Ooh, a soccer ball, soccer ball. Yes, that can stay, it starts with the letter S. Good thinking. How about this? Sour strawberries, would not want to eat that, but I bet our garbage truck would love it. Sour strawberries. Yes, it starts with S. So all of our things here can stay. Oh, how about this one? Tattered t-shirt, almost snuck by. Tattered t-shirt, doesn't say S. Nice try, try to sneak there in the corner. Away with you. So here are things left that start with S. Socks, salad, strawberries, soccer ball, and scissors. Do you hear that sound at the beginning? Can you think of other things that start with S? Hurry, tell me, tell me. Yes, silly, silly starts with S. Study, that's right. Mm -hmm. So now we're gonna go over to our space, project space, also starts with S, space. And we're gonna finish off our bouquet of flowers and we're gonna make an easel out of cardboard boxes. So let's walk over there. So all week we've been using recycled materials and we're turning them into different things. So I'll need you in just a little bit. Right now, remember we made our bouquet of flowers. Now bouquet just means many, many flowers. I'll put this here so I can show you and we used our pipe cleaners. I'm gonna make a few more, then I'm gonna show you how I made our planter. So I'm gonna take two of my pipe cleaners, a red and a purple, and I'm gonna put them through. Remember we used our egg cartons, painted them, I made a big circle. If you need a tutorial, go back and watch yesterday's episode. Next, we're gonna take our finger, loop it, and put it through the hole, just like that. Just like that, through and around. I would like to end up with five flowers before I show you how to make the next thing. All right, here's another one. That makes four. And then for this one, we're gonna take the same thing, take our scissors, here we go, make our petals. Actually, I think I'm gonna leave this one blank. I like to make them a little bit different. Remember, we're gonna take the end of our scissor this one's not too sharp, but you still want an adult to do it. We're gonna punch a little hole through. That's where our pipe cleaner is gonna go. We use a little loop-de-loop -loop around the finger and through the flower bottom. Do, 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 do. Next, we have our flowers. How lovely would these be to make and give to someone? I would love to get something like this. Okay, then you can arrange them. That means put them together in a beautiful way and I'm just gonna tie them here at the end, just a little bit so they stay. Maybe twist them. And let me show you how I made the planter. I'm gonna put them in. Do you recognize this? Yes, it's a two liter bottle. You might get it if you have like a lemonade or soda. Well, I hope you don't drink soda, but what I did is I cut it in half, just like this, and I painted it green, but you can paint it any color. A uh, great way to use recycled material. Another idea that I had for this is to create a little toothbrush station. Uh, so you would just do the same thing, take a two liter bottle, cut it in half, but instead paint it white and it looks like a little tooth. Then you can put your toothpaste and everything you need in here. But for now, it's gonna be a little planter. I'm gonna take some tissue paper that I saved when someone gave me a gift and I'm just gonna put it in there so my flowers have somewhere to stand and then I'm just going to arrange them or put them here and kind of twisted them together. And of course, I wish I would have made more, but this is kind of what it looks like. What do you think? You can tie a little ribbon using some recycled material. This would be a wonderful gift for Mother's Day or to give to somebody special that you love. So now that we've finished this activity, I'm gonna show you how to use another recycled material, which is cardboard, and we're gonna make this, an easel. An easel is something that artists use to hold up their paper as they're painting. 
So you can see it's just a cardboard cut into a special shape and another piece of cardboard. And you can take this outside with you or paint inside and you can hold it up and it allows you to see the paper just a little bit better. So here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a template. Now a template is something or a shape that you use that you can trace on something over and over and over again. So I'm going to show you what mine looks like so you get an idea. So I folded a piece of paper in half just like this and I created like two mountain shapes, one really tall one and one really small one so that when you open it up it looks like this. Okay? So you can take a quick screen grab so you can make it yourself at home. Next, I'm going to take a piece of cardboard like this and I'm going to take it where it's folded just like this. See, uh, I got this piece of cardboard at my local grocery store. All the food that they sell comes packaged in cardboard usually and they love for teachers or students to come take a little piece and use it for an educational purpose, to use it for school. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to trace it on here. You can use a Sharpie or anything that you have. Now here is where adult help comes in handy because you can see that the cardboard is very, very thick. So you can't really cut through it with scissors. You have to cut through it with an X-Acto knife. And that's what I did first. I don't know if you can see, but I kind of traced it with an X-Acto knife first so that my scissors can cut through. But even so, it's kind of hard to get through. You need an adult to help you chomp at this heavy, heavy cardboard. So when you're done with that, you're going to be left with something that looks like this. I'm saving my huffing and puffing of cutting through thick cardboard have something like this and this is your easel stand. Do you see the shape from our template? Next you're going to get a piece of cardboard. I took just the same cardboard that I had from the grocery store. Take a piece of paper and tape it on and now you have an easel. Wow, I feel like a real artist and I even have my artista or artist label. Thank you Mrs. Rewrite. Look at that, I'm an artista. And since it's Earth Day, I thought, let's paint an Earth with our lovely easel. And I'll show you how sturdy it is. I'm gonna turn it this way so you can see it. So I'm gonna use two colors to paint my Earth, but you can paint anything you want using your easel. This is your easel. All right, I'm gonna use blue and green, and you can paint along with me if you like. I'm using those two colors because when you see our planet from afar, it looks like green for land and blue for ocean. Maybe a little brown for land too. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make a circle. So let's make a circle right here. All the way around because our planet, or Earth, is round. Then I'm going to create some land spots. And you can research what these are called how many there are, which one we live in. Just like that, they look like kind of forms all the way around. I know what you're thinking, it looks like a weird soccer ball, but I promise when we add a little bit of blue, it starts to look like an earth. At least I hope so. Let's see, maybe make this more of a land mass there. A little bit more here. You can play around with it as much as you're able. Next, we can add the ocean. Now, I wanted to make an easel because I thought it'd be really nice to go outside and paint. Usually when we paint or create, where it's done indoors. But for Earth Day, what better way to celebrate our environment than to be outside creating? All right, what do we think? Let me kind of a little more blue around here. Is it starting to look a little bit like the pictures you see of Earth? <laughs> Again, you can do whatever you'd like. There are so many art projects that you can do for Earth Day. I hope that this inspires you to create an easel of your own and look into 
the many, many art projects that are online or check out your local library. They even have books all about different science projects that you can do for Earth Day. So I hope that you give this a try and I also hope that you come back tomorrow for the final day of our Earth Day study. Until then, Miss Laura sends you a big smooch mwah, and a big squeeze. It reminds you to read and play and use your imagination every single day. We'll see you again next time. Bye.